Hello! Okay, um, today I thought I would make a short video on the new Season 4 Masteries. Um, a lot of people have been having confusing, confusion with them, I think. Um, I just wanted to show what I do. Obvi uh, as you can see, I have 15 pages, although a lot of them are champion-specific, which I can go through. Um, obviously, okay, so let's stop. You've got your AP, AD, Masteries, those are quite simple. Um, something I just want to say though is Dangerous Game, one of my uh, personal favourite Masteries right now. Um, you should basically get it on every every um, Mastery page that you go into the offensive tree because it just works so well. Like trade-offs in mid lane, you know, when you both ignite each other, you both die, this mastery could save you so many times. It saved me recently when I dived, I got the kill, I was Katrina, and I, the lo I, I survived on 40 health because of this mastery. It's really, really good. Um, and then, of course, just go with the standard, as you would expect, uh, masteries for offensive. On the defensive, now this is, a lot of people like to go into utility, I personally don't, but that's just my personal preference. Like you can go into utility, in which case you get the movement speed because movement speed is amazing. Get that mana and just get runic affinity, um, and alchemist, and that does help. It's very uh, utile. That's not a word. Um, but yeah, I like this added sustain. Um, this unyielding and block really helps against uh, champions that auto attack a lot, especially if I'm a melee. And then, of course, veteran scars. The amount of times you survive on 20 health, that's because of veteran scars. AD, basically the same. Uh, and then I've got my man mode support. Now, this is how I almost always play supports. Um, you know, tanky, in their face, aggressive. So. There isn't actually as much uh, in the in this defensive tree as you would expect, but I'll just go through it quickly. So movement speed, seriously, fleet of foot, fleet of foot, foot is such a good mastery. Like movement speed, one of the best stats in the game, and you get it, you know, top line in a mastery when before it was the bottom. This is very useful. Get it almost always if you're going anywhere near utility. Um. Then of course I go for the gold. I don't think this scavenger thing is really that good because the amount of the amount of gold that you get from other things like the runic shield, you know, it just kind of makes this mastery redundant. Um, that is optional to go with the phase walker. Um, you know, either's good. I just prefer this because you know why not? Um, and defensive. I've gone. O I've gone for enchanted armor over recovery, because yes, health regen is always very useful as a support. But I found I build a lot of magic resistant armor items, so this is quite useful. It, it, it all depends what you build with your champion. Really, you can easily go for recovery, and then of course, yeah, this is just kind of obvious, I suppose. Always armor over magic resist. Um, I'll go into that later with my runes. Um. And then, of course, in the offensive tree, I really like this, Exposed Weakness, because Leona, for example, her passive, uh, along with that, it just, it's a lot of damage. And I know it's only 1%, but when someone gets away on 5% health, th this is what, this is what, you know, masteries are there for, for those close calls, you know, for that one extra health, for those people who are luckers. So things like this, that really, that really does help, it does make more of a difference than you would think. Which is why I like to get this there and just get that extra damage off. Um, and then I've got support damage, which is kind of Lulu, Sona, um, same utility because I just need the gold. But then more in offensive, I think that's just kind of obvious really. Support passive utility. Um, yeah, this is when I'm playing Janna and stuff. I mean, these are kind of basic standard things. But as we get onto like Akali and Katrina, it gets a bit... Uh, you know, more custom, I'd say. Um, jungle, yeah, this is all just, obviously you want to get the Feast and Butcher, and instead of the block, you're going to need the Tough Skin, etc. I'd like to get Exposed Weakness on junglers for when you're ganking, because obviously, you know, 
yeah, that's just kind of obvious. Um, bruises. Pff, I rarely play bruises. I doubt these masteries are going to be as optimal as they could be. So I'll just ignore those. Right, Hecarim. Now, in Season 3, I always like to go into the utility uh, tree much, much more than defensive. But now I'm kind of forced to go into defensive a bit more because they swap things around. However, now, obviously the movement speed... Again, that's just brilliant. Runic Infinity, you should probably get that on most junglers. But here, I've just been a bit more linear on the other pages. Um, I've got I only got one point in Butcher, but that's because, you know, Feast isn't really that useful. I don't really think Hecarim actually needs the stats in Offensive. Because as soon as he gets his jungler item, the Spirit of the Elder Lizard, he has all the damage he needs for the rest of the game. Um, yeah, so... Just gone into the defensive tree here, as you would with most junglers. Um, but then with the utility, this I've have, I've got much more sustain. I've got movement speed, and cu coupled that with decent defense as well, and I think that works really well. On to Katrina. Katrina is kind of an odd champion. Like in season three, I was much much more down the defensive thing, I think I had 21 in defensive, but um, now, again, because they swap things around and the offensive tree is just so good right now, which I'll go to talk on about in Akali, I have got more offensive, but the reason I like to go really defensive with Katrina and the movement speed, I'll go on to that, is because she has, she kind of has a weak 1-3, to three, and if you're against someone who's very pokey, that can be a hell of a time for you, like, it can be really difficult, and it's just not fun. Um, so you do need to get through that, and I think the defense trees really do help, because normally I start Boots Pots, so I don't normally go for Dorans. Again, I've just gone for the extra point to get Dangerous Game here, um, but overall I haven't really put that much into offensive. I just wanted to get the Dangerous Game. Movement Speed, that's more my playstyle with Katrina. I, like, I run Movement Speed Quince on her, and coupled with boots and the movement speed passive I've almost got 400 movement speed at the start of the game with my W your poke is Im immense like you just uh, Q, E, W, walk away they literally cannot do every anything and even if they slow you this thing here, this mastery it, it does help but that's how I play Katrina obviously you can play her in different ways that's not the only way to play her but that's my personal way of doing it and I find that works really well Mordekaiser, I don't really know why I made a page for Mordekaiser, because I kind of realise it's basically my AP, it's exactly my AP page anyway, so I'm going to delete that. Okay, Akali, 30 zero, zero. This might be more of a controversial one, but believe me, these new offensive masteries are insane, especially on hybrids like Akali, because not only do they put hybrid penetration in one mastery now and I'm running hybrid marks everything just works so well you can, at the very start of the game you can get so much out of your passive that your damage early game, pre-6 is just, they can't handle it and then what you do is because you're so squishy you start Doran Shield just to get through the initial poke and harassment that every Akali goes through pre-6 and I've, I've been trying this out, and it's worked really well. Almost every game, I've just really snowballed in my lane because I deal so much damage, and because of my Doran shield, it really helps, which means I don't just get pummeled into the ground, and I still have damage. So I would definitely recommend that for Akali and other hybrid champions. Uh, lastly, Evelyn. I think I need to tweak my Evelyn page a little bit more. But this is the general gist of it. Again, it's a bit more hybrid, like a Kali, but it can't be 30 0 because I'm a jungler. And I've taken the fleet of foot because often, as Ev Evelyn, I will rush their red buff with my W and try and steal it, which normally works. Um, I think it's only ever failed once, and that wasn't a ranked game, so I'm pretty happy. Um, okay, that's my uh, masteries. That's what I would recommend most people do. If people are doing something differently, well, then you're a bronze scrub. But <laughs> no, no, really. Um, these are just my personal opinions. Like, I'm not a LCS pro. So if you try these and for some reason it doesn't work with your playstyle, then I'm sorry. But yeah, you can try some different masteries. Um, 
yes. So onto runes. I'm gonna have to update my runes at some point. Um, I need to give them all witty names as well. Um, so yeah, obviously I've got my Katrina ones, which, like I said, is uh, movement speed. But then apart from that, just classic um, AP. Um, my Bulls Deep room page is super sexy. I love this room page. This is what I run for Leona Fresh. 27, like literally armor, 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 and then health. You walk into lane with 700 health right now. Season 3 it was like um, 650 health. Now with the new runic shield, which is the most OP piece of shit in the game right now, I literally walk in with 700 health and they can't touch me because I also have plus 27 armor. Along with my masteries as well. It's um, it's insane. Uh, this is my um, my passive support runes for people like Jana. Um that's just I actually I might change this is the gold per 10 isn't actually as needed anymore so I might be able to throw in some health or something like that Hecarim obviously that's just classic Hecarim oh I love this rune page this is the be gentle rune page it practically has no tank apart from the yellows and blues but then it's got hybrid pens and AD marks I run this on Lulu it rapes Seriously, I once got a 1v2 double kill without my AD carry, level 1, in bot lane as Lulu. Yes, seriously, like, if you can't actually play Lulu or Sona, then this isn't recommended, because if you jump in their face, you are so squishy, you just get popped. However, if you can, and you can position right, and you can use your spells effectively, this will get so much harass on the enemy uh, the enemy carry and support that they won't be able to do shit. And then Bulls Deep MR is because I don't actually have any MR on my Bulls Deep rune page. If I'm against a um, Leona or a Fresh and they do a lot of magic damage, I like to take this just to. Yeah, I see a lot of Freshes running magic pen these days anyway, so this really does help. Uh, and then that's basically it for my. You know, the the rest are just very linear, basic things. I mean, I like to run I uh, life steal on AD carries, but I don't often uh, use AD carry, uh, play AD carry. But I might change it to armor pen or physical damage because that's more aggressive, and I like to play aggressive bot lane. Anyway, those are my runes and masteries. Uh, hopefully, that can give you a decent guide to what you should be running in season four. Uh, for specific champions, if you've got any questions about what uh, to run on champions specifically, then I'll be uh, happy to help you out. Obviously, if I don't play the champion, I might not be the best person to ask, but you know it's worth a it's worth a try. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching.